Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. As you probably saw from the title of this video, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to crochet an adorable little dinosaur. So let me show you some examples of what you could be making. So these are some of the ones I've currently made. The lighting in here is garbage, but this one's dark green. This one's like a green mix that I just made using a different yarn. And then this one's pink. Starting with our materials, I have some size six super bulky yarn. This one is Bernat Blanket. If you're using the same brand as me, you need almost an entire ball. It uses quite a bit. Uh, because of that, I have a size six crochet hook. I have a tapestry needle. Stitch markers are optional. I always use them. Scissors, of course. And I have some safety eyes over here. And stuffing for the body, you're gonna need like 10 times as much as this. So we're gonna start with the feet, which we're gonna make four of. So you start with a magic circle. There you go. And we're gonna do six single crochet into this magic circle. We're just gonna pull that shut. For the next round, we're gonna do a single crochet and then an increase three times. So that was our single crochet, move the stitch marker over, then an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch. Nine stitches total for this round. And then the next round, similar idea, we're gonna do two single crochet and then an increase. So we got one, two, and then I like to make it stick out a bit. I find it easier to find the stitches. And uh, we're gonna do two, uh, an increase, so three and four. And then finally, the last increase is 11 and 12. Then for the final round of this foot, we're just gonna do 12 single crochet rounds, so one in every stitch. And 12. And cut off your yarn. You don't need to leave a long tail because we won't be sewing. So we're just gonna make four of these and then come back here when you're done with that. So you should now have your four little feet all cut off and we're gonna get started on the body now and we'll get back to these in a minute. Now we're gonna get started on the body which actually starts with chains instead of a magic circle. So we're just gonna do a slip knot. Then we're just gonna chain 16 stitches. So we're gonna do one, 15, 16. Then starting in the second chain, we're gonna do 14 single crochet. So that's one, I'm gonna put my stitch marker in. 14 should bring us to the stitch before the last one. And then in that last stitch, we're gonna do three single crochets. So we got one, two, three into the same stitch. And then we are going to single crochet all our way, our way back to the start. And I like to hide my tail here in these single crochets. So just single crocheting over top of it. 13 and 14 gets us right back to the start. This should bring you to 31 stitches total around. You're gonna, in the first stitch of the next round, we're gonna do an increase. So two in the same stitch. One, two. And then we're gonna do 13 single crochet down the side. 13, and then once you're at the end, we're gonna do an increase into this next stitch here. So one, two, then we did our increase and then a single crochet and then we're gonna do another increase. So there's gonna be five stitches in this end and then we're back to the other side and we're gonna do 13 single crochets back down this side. And then we finish this round off with an increase into the last stitch. So one and two, and that should bring your total up to 35 single crochets for the round. This next round is where things start to get a little bit trickier. We're gonna be attaching the feet, but before we do that, we're gonna do an increase in that first stitch here. So one, two, and then we're going to do two single crochet as well. We're going to go one, two. And now you're going to grab your first foot. So I'm going to use this one. And you're going to single crochet them together onto here. So you're going to be going through this back bad side of the foot into the good side of this. To single crochet them together, I simply stick my hook through here. So that is the one stitch there and then put it through the next stitch in the body as well, and then pull through both, and just do your single crochet like normal. 
Then the next one is going to be the last stitch we did. So we're going to go through here and we're going to go through the next stitch in the body, which is here. And that's two. And then we're going to do this one more time for the third stitch here and the third stitch on the body. Just like that. Do six single crochets, just like normal. So you did your six single crochet. Now we're going to attach the next foot and I'll just show you how to do that one more time. So we're going to go into this one stitch here and then through the next stitch in the body. Sometimes it's a little tricky to tell which one. And then you're just going to do a single crochet just like normal. And then into the last stitch we did there and then into the next stitch on the body as well. And then finally a third one into the next stitch on the leg and the last stitch of the body there. And then we're just gonna continue on. So we do one single crochet, then we do another increase because we gotta make this body a little bit bigger. So one, two in the same stitch. Then we're gonna do two single crochets. So one in one stitch, one in the next. And then we're gonna do another increase. So one, two, and we're gonna do one single crochet. So we're gonna grab our next foot, same process again. Three single crochets with the foot again, just like before. You, maybe you can always double check too that they are lined up with each other. Like you can see those ones are perfectly across from each other. And then we're gonna do six single crochet, just like on the other side. Six. And then it's time for our final foot. Same process all over again. Three. And then you're just gonna do two single crochets to finish the round. And then that's also how you know that you have the right amount of stitches, which I believe we did 38 in this round. But the next round, we're going around the outside of the foot. So you're gonna have a completely different number. So you'll have something that looks like this from the bottom, this from the top. So we're gonna do three single crochets. So you should have one left between the foot and here. And we're gonna do something called single crochet two together. So you're gonna go through the one stitch and pull up a loop. And then you're gonna go through the next leg of the foot and you're gonna do the same thing. Yarn over, pull through a loop. So you have three loops on your hook and then you're gonna pull through all of them and pull it nice and tight. So now you see when you look at the body, there's no gap there and you just crochet around the leg. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then when you get to that last stitch here, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna do, go in, yarn over, pull through a loop there. So you have three loops on your hook again, hard to see there, but one, two, three. And then I yarned over again and we're gonna pull it through all three just to make everything nice and even. And you're just gonna do this the entire way around. So I'll show you one more time. One, two, three, and four stitches along here. And then we're gonna do, go through this one here, yarn over your hook, pull through a loop. So you have two. Next stitch of the leg is this one here. So we're gonna go through, pull up a loop. Now we have three yarn over and pull through all of them. Now that you've gone all the way around, you should have done 54 single crochets total. It should look like something like this. Six rounds of 54, it should look something like this. And we're gonna start to decrease rounds. So we're gonna do eight single crochet. Eight. And then we're gonna do a decrease. So just through the front loops of two stitches, pull a loop through them and pull through both. Then we're gonna do 10 single crochets. One, 10. And then we're gonna do a single crochet and then a decrease six times. So we're gonna go one single crochet and then a decrease, so front two loops. So that's one time, single crochet, decrease. That's two times. And then we're gonna do 12 single crochet. So one, and 12, and then we're gonna do a decrease. So front two loops 
here. And then two single crochet to finish off. One, two. And that should bring you down to a total of 46 stitches. Then we're gonna do another eight single crochet. Eight, and we're gonna do another decrease right here. Then we're gonna do another eight single crochets. Eight. And then we're gonna do three decreases here. So we're gonna do one decrease. Then we're gonna do three single crochets. And then three more decreases we got. One. Then we're gonna do nine single crochets. Nine. And then we're gonna do just one decrease here, just like the round before. And then we're gonna just single crochet in those last two stitches. And that should bring you to a total of 38 single crochet around. Now I'm gonna show you how to crochet the tail because I prefer to do it while the back is still open so I can see the inside while I do it. So for the tail, we're gonna start with a magic ring, but this time we're only gonna do four single crochet into the ring. So we've got one. So we have four now, so we can tighten up our ring, pulling the tail here. For this second round, we're gonna do a single crochet and then an increase twice. So we're gonna do one, we're gonna do an increase into the next stitch here. It feels like there's a very big gap between these stitches. It's correct. It's just because there's only four. And when you flip it around, it'll look proper. Then for this next round, the third one, we're gonna do single crochet and then an increase again. And we're gonna be doing it three times instead. To a total of nine. And for this next round, we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. Increase to bring us up to a total of 12 stitches around. For the next round, we're gonna do three single crochet and then an increase. And 15. Then for this next round, we're just going to simply do 15 single crochet around. For this next round, we're gonna do four single crochet and an increase, which should bring us up to a total of 18. And 18 stitches to finish the round. Then for the next one, just like last time, we're gonna do a round of just single crochets around for 18 total. We're gonna do five single crochet and then an increase, which will bring us up to a total of 21. And 21. Just gonna do 21 single crochets around, just like the last couple rounds. I did one more round of 21, just personal preference. You're gonna to wanna to cut it off and leave a nice long tail because we're gonna to have to sew the entire thing on to the dinosaur body. Also, before we sew it on, we're gonna to have to stuff it. And then personally, I like to leave a little lip at the top just so that when you're sewing through, you're not pulling the stuffing out along with it. I always use this line here where we finished as the center. And then I just kind of line it up wherever I like it. And then I just stick it into that first stitch there. And then I come out at the one beside it. This needle has definitely seen better days, but I love the plastic ones over the metal ones. Maybe that's just personal preference. And then my method is I just go up into the next stitch, pull it nice and tight. I go back down into the one I started in, and then I go over to the next stitch, and I just repeat that all the way around. Now, this is just my preferred sewing method. You can sew your tail on however you'd like. I just find that this way usually keeps these stitches nice and tight and I haven't had any issues with any 
holes or stuffing leaking out or anything. And then as you get back down to the start and there's only a little hole left, this is the perfect time to stuff the rest of your stuffing in there to make the tail nice and firm. Then once it's on, just go around, double check there's no gaps or holes. And then I pull my yarn out to the inside of the dinosaur. Then you can kind of flip it inside out and find a stitch like this and I just run it under and then I make a couple knots. This next round we're going to be doing 18 single crochet. Oops, 18. Then we're going to do three decreases in a row. So you've got one. We've got two. And we've got three. And then we're just gonna single crochet all the way back around to the start. Now we're gonna wanna start stuffing the body in here before we close it up. I like to first start with four little balls, one for each of the feet, just because I find if you try and shove big balls of stuffing inside the dinosaur, it doesn't really go into the feet properly. So I like to just kind of stick one in each foot just to make sure they're all stuffed. Then once you've done each of the four feet, just stuff it like normal. And this is also not your last chance to put stuffing in. You can still stuff down from the neck into the body. So don't worry about filling it up completely just yet. Now this next round is where we're gonna separate the head from the body. I've done the first single crochet, but we're gonna do 12 total. 12. Now we're gonna spin this around and go over to the other side and we're gonna just do six single crochets. So you're gonna have to count backwards from where we started. So this was our first stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna go into the sixth stitch over here, just single crochet and six. From this round around, you should have 18 for this neck. And then this back part, we are going to sew shut right now. I take a nice long piece of yarn. Then I like to go in from a random spot, not near the top, because this is where we're gonna tie our knot at the end. And then I like to come back up down at the center here and leave a tail here so we can tie a knot at the end. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go through the front loops only. So meaning in this V here, we're just going through this first one and we're gonna go from this one and we're gonna go into the one next to it. So basically what we're doing, you're gonna wanna hold this tail too because otherwise it'll come undone. We're just gonna go back and forth repeating this process to just sew the back shut. Remember, front loops only, and we're just going back and forth. If you hold this tail end down here, you'll see it'll just cinch itself shut. So we're gonna repeat that all the way up to the top of the neck here. And then once you're at the top, I like to go back down just to make sure everything's tight. And I usually try and go the opposite way of the way we went so that all the stitches are double reinforced. Now that I am confident that I have the back sewn shut, I'm going to put my needle back in and come out in that same stitch that we started in. So as you can see, these two ends are now in the same stitch and we can just knot them together and then push them inside the creation. For the neck here, we're just gonna be doing rounds of 18 single crochets going around and around. I usually do nine rounds total, but it's completely up to you until you reach your desired height. Finally, this is nine. Now you're gonna wanna stuff the neck, make sure to put a solid amount down here at the base just so it can stand up on its own. Now for the head, we're gonna start with two single crochet. I already did, I already did the first one, so that's two. And then we're gonna follow that up with seven increases. And we're just gonna single crochet back to the start, which should be nine single crochets. And nine. And this round should be 25 single crochet total, and you'll see this little lip starting to form where the head will stick out. So we're gonna start this next round by doing four single crochets. Now we're gonna do a single crochet and then an increase, and we're gonna repeat that five times. So we're gonna do a single crochet, and then the next stitch, we're gonna do an increase. So that is one time. 
So as you can see, we've made our lip a little bit bigger and it should be symmetrical on both sides. Just make sure you double check that. And then we're just gonna single crochet back around to the start. This should be 11 single crochet. Make the head taller here. We're gonna do four rounds of 30 single crochets around. Now that you've done your four rounds of 30, it looks something like this. And for this next round, we're gonna start to decrease. So we're gonna do three single crochets, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a decrease. And we're gonna repeat this all the way around to bring our total stitch number for the round down to 24. Well, if you're gonna be adding in safety eyes, this is where you're gonna wanna do it in just the round prior. We're going to continue on to our next round where we're just going to keep decreasing down. This time we're just going to do two single crochets and then a decrease all the way around. And this will bring you down to a total of 18 for the whole round. The next round is the exact same idea, but this time it's just one single crochet and then a decrease all the way around to bring you down to a total of 12 stitches for the round. Now this is your chance to put any final stuffing in the head. And then the next round is just going to be six decreases around to bring us down to a total of six. And you can just cut off your yarn, leaving a fair sized tail to sew it shut with. And to sew it shut, each stitch of this final round here, you're just going to go into the front loop or the top one facing you around each of them. Six. And then if you just pull on it, it will cinch this hole shut and then just go up and down a few times around to secure it in tight. Now he joins the family with all my other ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I am gonna try and post a bit more on this account and hopefully some different videos, maybe some book related stuff as well. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And now you have your own little adorable crochet dinosaur. See ya.